This is Kiana, a random subscriber who recognized me in the streets, and after having a really lovely chat and exchanging emails, I decided I'm gonna do something very special for her. So why don't we give her a little call so I can surprise her. Kiana, I have a question for you. You can accept or reject this offer, but what would you say if I built your dream app for you? Thank you so much. It's, I, I, I cannot say anything right now because I'm so surprised. And it's, I don't know, what can I say? Oh, that is so cool. Let's set up a call maybe next week to talk about the details of what you're trying to build. In the meantime, you can maybe think about an idea. Okay, but before we hop into what she actually wants to build, let me tell you how I met her. Now, I know I introduced her as a random subscriber, but that's not entirely true. You see, she's actually the very first subscriber to have recognized me in the streets. So basically, I woke up on a random Saturday in Torrance, California, and I basically decided, hey, I wanna go and discover a new bakery. Walk into this bakery, meaning they have all these fancy little pastries and expensive coffee. But when I got to the counter, the guy was like, hey, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, um, yeah, kind of, why? And he told me the basic Basically, a pastry chef in the back of the house had recognized me walking in. So of course, I immediately asked her to send her out so I can have a quick chat. And we had an amazing chat about what she was trying to build. She's trying to be an entrepreneur. It is the biggest thing that I want to be an entrepreneur. It is my dream. Anyway, I was in total shock, probably more than she was, and I'm super stoked to actually build out this app. Can't wait to find out what she wants me to build for her. So now I just have to wait for the call we're gonna jump on, and I'm gonna give myself 48 hours for this challenge to be able to build out this entire app and give it to her. And don't tell her this, but I am planning a couple of extra things to give to her apart from her dream app. So stay tuned. So, okay, so tell me what, what uh, how the app uh, works. Like, what is the app idea you have? Um, I'm a pastry chef. I like to make an app to fix a problem in my job. Uh, the problem is people uh, calling sick a lot and we are short of staff usually. Um, I am as a leader, I have to cover them uh, and I have a lot of tasks to do and I have to uh, finish their tasks. So it's a lot of time that I have to spend and uh, otherwise the employers have to pay um, overtime. So if I can fix this problem, I think it's the best idea for uh, making this app. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, new day, let's get started. As you probably noticed from that chat, she is absolutely adorable. So I really, really wanna make a great app for her. I'm now gonna take a little moment to jot down some of the notes I have in my head from yesterday's conversation, because then we're gonna have a checklist of things that we have to do to really deliver on this app and go even beyond. Let's do this. Okay, so I created a quick to-do list here with all the items that I have. I'm trying to simplify it so I can make sure that these are actually gonna work well. And so now let's jump into the studio and talk about what has to be done. We need to make sure we're hitting the big points, right? The problem that we're solving for is that when people don't show up to work, specifically bakery employees, it's difficult to replace them last minute because they have a special set of skills. You can't just put a waiter in the place of a bakery assistant. So ultimately, this is a two-sided marketplace and it has to also happen quickly because we know that these cancellations usually happen the day before. So we basically need a system for the owners of these bakeries to be able to post jobs and then for the job applicants to be able to see them, apply for them, and then have those answered as positive or negative. And this all has to happen quite quickly. Now, the big next step is to figure out what this MVP actually looks like. And I have a couple bullet points here of what I want it to have, but a big mistake people make is to try to build the entire app or everything is automated where at this point we're really just testing out an idea making sure that it works making sure that people will use it and are also willing to pay for it until we figured out these big pieces of the puzzle we shouldn't be building out crazy amounts of technology so what is my MVP gonna include and what is it not gonna include well here are some first thoughts so it's pretty clear that we need the bakeries to be able to create their own profiles and we also need to be able to create posts from those and also have a system where they can review applicants and either accept or reject. We also have to have the employee side. So basically, we have to find people, allow them to create profiles of themselves with all their experience. One thing that came to my attention is that they need a specific certificate to be able to handle food. This is something that I was informed of. So we need to make sure they can upload that certificate before they can even be considered for the job. They should have a place where they get notified and also be able to see all of the potential shifts, we're gonna call them. Um, that they have at their disposal if they wanna apply for one or not. And I think with that basic set of features, we actually are able to close the loop on connecting these two 
profiles and having them show up on time for the shift. Now, word of warning for this kind of startup that we call a marketplace where we have buyers and sellers, so think of Airbnb or Uber, is that we need to please both sides, meaning that we have two customers and that makes it a little bit more complex when it comes to go to market or how to monetize this. What do I mean? Well, it's kind of like chicken egg. Do you first go after the bakeries or do you first go after the employees? You see, there's usually one side of the marketplace that's a lot easier to convince, right? So for example, the owners of properties for Airbnb, if you go up to them and say, hey, do you want us to go and get customers for you? And if we find you more customers, we'll take a commission. And if we don't, then we won't charge anything. And the answer is usually yes, but I don't wanna to have to do much. And this might be an approach we have to use in this case. But this also comes to an important other point, which is inventory. If there's a job posting, but there's not enough people to apply for it, then we're not gonna be able to connect people really. So we have to first have a certain amount of people active on the platform to make the whole thing work. In this example, the part-time employees were basically telling them, hey, do you wanna be notified when there's job openings that you can just pick up extra shifts and make more money? We're actually gonna go out there and find these for you and we won't charge anything to you. So this is the way we wanna approach the market. And so we're first gonna to wanna to find employees and then we'll start going after bakeries. Okay, that was plenty. We're now going to have to determine the scope of this MVP by feeding the information I gave you right now. Now, one thing I'm gonna avoid is creating a whole system with micro wallets to get payments through because my idea is to charge the business owner a monthly fee and that can easily be done by setting up just a Stripe account and charging on a monthly basis. So now let me go to ChatGPT, feed some of these basic features and have it create us a prompt that we can use to start building out the platform to the computer. Okay, so I'm in ChatGPT and I basically said, you're an AI coding prompt engineer with 10 years experience. Here is what I wanna build, explaining to it a little bit the process. And then I basically told it I wanted to create a simplified prompt, starter prompt specifically for AI coding platforms. And I reminded it I wanted this to be simple and I didn't want it to have payment integration. So I'm now gonna click on go and let's see what it musters up for us. Okay, so now I cooked up something that actually has some of the core things. So the user stories, which are basically like how this actually works, then the data models, how we want that to look as well as the individual screens, the flows and the rules, as well as the UX scope and the non-functional. And then it also talks about the things that are outside of the scope. So we're gonna use this as a starter prompt. The big question is, what are we gonna to use to build this app out? Well, my friends, I'm gonna build this with a platform called Base44. Why? Well, because it's the most friendly for non-technical entrepreneurs to actually build out their apps. It's also all in one and it's quite easy to manage as well. You see, Kiara doesn't have a lot of technical expertise, and if I build this with something complicated, then it's gonna be difficult for her to actually maintain it once I hand it over. So for me, Base44 is just a natural match because it's easy to build with, easy to maintain, and then also easy to continue building on. So now let's jump into the platform and we're gonna start building. So what you'll notice is that on the left-hand side, it's starting to tell me all the actions that it's taking so I can really follow along. So it's editing application entity. Um, editing layout, editing homepage, and it's doing all these individual things at the end. And once it's finished, I'm gonna show you the full interface. And we're gonna first preview this to see kind of where it's at. And usually what I look for in this first prompt is to get it at least 60% there, because we're gonna be able to continue to work. And if I'm not happy with the results, I'll probably actually just open up another window and just run another prompt inside of that until I get to a result that really resembles what I'm going for. Okay, so it spun up the first version here. Let's see what it got. So we first of all can either choose our role as a bakery or as a baker. And we can choose city, phone number, excellent. And then we can continue. On the left-hand side here, we have the different shifts. So we can browse based on filters or based on date. No available shifts right now, okay. Uh, and then my profile. So here it's gonna be able to show some of my experience and it's gonna be able to allow me to upload my food handling license, which is something that's actually a must. Let's see if this actually works, it does. Excellent. So this actually seems pretty functional um, and I think it's pretty simplistic, kind of what I'm looking to do here for a first version. Uh, however, um, the color palette is not something that makes me very excited. So there are two things I can do here. Either I'm not satisfied with this and I wanna actually create a new prompt or update the prompt, fine tune the prompt and then just rebuild it in another tab. Or what I can do is start working from here 
by feeding it some UI UX design information so that it can make this prettier. So I'm actually gonna analyze this a bit deeper and see if there's things that I feel are missing in this technically. And if not, we'll continue to proceed. And if I do think, then I might just come back to the drawing board. But to know for sure, I actually wanna see this with some more dummy data in it. Okay, so I just spent a bunch of time focusing on the functionality of this app and I'm quite happy with the results. The first main thing that I did was that I created a system where basically when someone posts a new shift and then the other person accepts it, it basically sends emails to both people in real time so that those people are aware that, hey, this was accepted. And it also shares contact details so they can then get in touch with each other. Because the truth here is that time is of the essence and we need to make sure that we can connect these people before the shift actually starts and as quickly as possible. So that when someone applies, the other person gets notified. When someone is accepted, the other person's notified. That way it gives them a couple of hours, at least if not a day to be able to make sure that they've received the notifications and also gotten in touch with each other. Then on top of that, I allowed people to be able to delete shifts if they wanted to. And, and then there were a bunch of smaller details that I took care of here as well. And now that I'm pretty happy with the functionalities, we'll polish off last little things when needed towards the end. So now the next step is gonna be focusing a little bit more in the design of this and making sure that it's exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so now I'm in ChatGPT, I'm gonna come here and say, please create a wallpaper with several pastry icons that are in the same exact style as this croissant. I would like them to be subtle on a light green background. And then I'm gonna upload the image that I've found from this little croissant and we're gonna go ahead and upload that and see what it comes up with. Hopefully it'll be something cool because I wanna use this as the background for some of the elements on the pages. Okay, so I came up with this design here, which I find actually really cool. However, I would like there to be a couple of additional styles of icons. I was thinking it was gonna make other pastry related icons. So I'm just gonna ask it to adapt this slightly. Okay, so I just told it that I want other pastry related icons here and it's cooking. Okay, voila. Now I think I just need this to be a little bit larger. So I'm just gonna say, Okay, so now I asked it to make this wallpaper much larger and have additional icons as well. So let's see. Okay, so in the background, I started working on the landing page a little bit so that the design resembles a little bit what I'm looking for. I actually like these icons. I like everything about this landing page. Very simple and it forces people to choose whether they're a baker or a bakery. And the thing I wanna add here for a little bit of spice is to actually uh, change this background here for some of the elements that I'm creating inside of ChatGPT. So I just did this experiment. I think it looks pretty cool, but I think we can elevate it with, as I said, these additional little icons. So let's see what we're making. So now let me come back to ChatGPT and see what it's created. Okay, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. I think it looks really good and hopefully it will actually look good on the canvas as well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna download this image here and I'm gonna see whether or not I can hear inside of Base44 just upload the image and ask for it to create that as the background. Okay, could you add these icons to the background of this landing page for me? And now we're gonna go to downloads, we're gonna grab this image and we're gonna see whether or not it can do that for us. Okay, I see it's a slightly different green, so maybe I have to change the green. Okay, it's added a couple of them here, but I didn't want it to change all of the other elements. So let me go ahead and revert back here and we're gonna keep playing around here until we find what we want. Keep you posted. Awesome, so this is what I landed on. I created a nice little background. I'm trying to keep this on purpose quite simple. And I think it came out quite pretty. And when people click on get started, uh, it will then bring them to whichever experience they have asked to join. In this case here, I have the experience of actually being able to post shifts. And in this other window here, I opened up the experience of actually applying for the jobs. So yeah. So far, so good. Okay, my friends, another day, another battle. Now I had a pretty terrible night. My daughter is learning how to be potty trained, so that's a little complicated. And at midnight, the neighbors put on like blasting music. And so yeah, I slept pretty poorly, but um, all things considered, I'm not gonna let that slow me down. Today we have quite a bit to work on because I wanna ship this entire product by the end of the day. That means I need to get my act in gear, my friends. We've done the build, we've done some of the design, still have some fine tuning on both those fronts. Once we test and go through that phase, we're gonna to have to fine tune some of the smaller bugs that we find. Then I wanted to add an additional surprise on top of launching the app for her, which is to build a first lead list for her. And I'm gonna be doing that with a tool that you'll find in the description. And because marketplaces can be tough, I'm already gonna give her a list of different bakeries and give the contact to the owners of those bakeries in the area that we're looking to target first. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Let's go to the studio. Okay, so I just messaged Kiana and we're gonna to meet tonight so I can show her this app, but I still have a lot to do as you know. First step is going to be to go ahead and test out this app. 
but from all the different perspectives. So first I wanna test it out as the bakery, then I wanna test it out as the baker, and I also wanna see what admin might look like, meaning how I can hand it off to her to kind of explain to her how she can update things, adapt things, and have control over her own platform. So I'm gonna jump into testing right now and we'll take it from there. Okay, first problem, I forgot to put a settings page inside this app for both profiles. So I now need to build out a settings page and see whether or not I'm gonna be able to make that work. Back to work. Setting page, check. But I realized as I was doing it that I probably wanna bring that beautiful background inside of these backgrounds as well, just because it's gonna give some consistency and it also makes the interface look a little bit more um, friendly. Okay, so that went pretty well, and now it's time, my friends, to test out the other side, so the baker side. Let's cross our fingers and hope that things are actually working. Hello. Kiana, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited to uh, to um, show you what uh, I built. Oh my God, actually you made it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to showing it to you right now. I'm Are speechless. <laughs> Are you ready for the big unveil? You honestly, I can't believe it. Still, I'm <laughs> in shock. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so happy. I mean, listen, basically, I, um, you know, we talked about it. And then I went and like build built the first version of it. So we can go out and like start testing this with some actual like customers and some users. And wow. uh, so yeah, I'm super stoked to, to show it to you today. You ready? Yes. Welcome to Baker Shift. Wow. Connect bakeries cool. with talented bakers. And so you can basically sign up either as a bakery owner or as a baker, and um, it's easy to use. It's last minute staffing made simple. Post oh. shifts um, or find your next gig in just a few clicks. So I'll bring you through some of the user experiences right now and to explain to you how it actually works. Let's go ahead and, and I'm just gonna sign up here. I'm gonna show you some of these parts of the, the website. There are basically two experiences when you get in. You either have the experience right here where I'm a bakery owner and you can basically just, um, you can check out the shifts that you've created. So it's like this one, I can delete a shift if I want. Let's go ahead and delete this shift. Uh, cool. There's my bakery where basically Basically, I can upload, you know, an image from my own bakery and uh, I called it Holy Grain <laughs> and, you know, you can give your address and all that. The settings as well of your own, um, of your account. I wanted to say that the um, uh, base 44 is actually giving you also like an annual free plan for the highest tier that you can get on the platform to help you start your business as well. So I just wanted to like shout them out because they, they're really oh. being very kind. And on top of that, I built you a list of pastry chefs uh, in Los Angeles uh, with their uh, LinkedIn profiles and also phone numbers and uh, and email addresses. So you have a first set of people that you can call to and you know start doing customer discovery, get us first paying customers. And so this should help you have everything you need to launch your business. Wow, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You didn't make an app, you made them. My dream happened. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm so stoked that Kiana loved it. That means the world to me. And I hope this motivated you to create your own app and to launch it in the market because in the end of the day, you gotta test your ideas, you gotta launch your startup, and you don't wanna live with the regret of having never done it. But if you have no idea how to actually get started to build your app or your website, then I highly recommend you check out this video right here because I'm gonna break down every step for you. Don't gotta do it alone. I got you, my friends, and please take action with your ideas. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go.